Hey, how's it going everyone? Today I'm gonna to run you through an important phone app that you should have on your phone if you drive an EV of some sort. My name's Talan and this is Juice Garage. Now we've all been there. It's just been one of those days where you've got a million things to do but nothing's gone quite to plan. You hop in the car only to realize you're low on fuel and in an area you're not familiar with. Now, in this situation, you'd probably pull your phone out and have a Google, but what happens if I told you there's an even better way to search for it? And that way is through the app called PlugShare. PlugShare, it's basically a map that allows you to find all the public charging stations around where you're located. Now, the great thing about this app is that it's completely free, it works worldwide in most countries, and it's available on iOS, Android, and most web platforms. Now, once you've installed the app, go ahead and open it up and follow the prompts to create an account. Now, we highly recommend that you do create an account because it'll help open up the extra features of the app. Once you've done that, you'll be greeted by the Maps page. Now, what is the Maps page? Well, it's basically a map showing your location and all the surrounding public charging stations. Now, in this case, my location is denoted by the blue circle. If you can't see a blue circle for your location, it's probably because the GPS or location services on your phone is currently turned off. So go ahead and turn that on and you should be able to see where you are. As you can see, there's a bunch of green and orange icons here. Now, the main difference between the two is that anything noted in orange is basically a fast charging or one of the more powerful charging stations. Anything noted in green is just a general public charger. You can also see that there are icons with a spanner located on them. Now that's to indicate that that charging station is currently going undergoing construction, maybe some form of maintenance, or it's just not working. So now let's have a look into one of these charging stations. So I'm just gonna zoom into the one here in Zetland and tap on that, and it's gonna give me a pop-up banner for the charging station. What we can see is that there's a title for the charging station. In this case, it's the Super Center Mall Park charging station, and you can see a number on the left-hand side. Now that number is called the plug score. What that is, is basically as people attend that charging station, they leave a review for the charging station and then that's the aggregate score off that. In this case, they've got a 7.9 out of 10. So if we click onto the banner, it'll actually take us into the profile for the public charging station. So as you can see, we're greeted by the Supercenter Moore Park charging station. It's got a score of 7.9. There is a Tesla charger here and it's about 3.39 kilometers or a 10 minute drive from where I am. Now up the top, we've got photos. Now these photos have been taken by other users of PlugShare and uploaded. So they can be things like car park hours or where the charging station is located or even if someone's parked there who shouldn't have had. Just below that, we can see the check-in icon. Now, what is the check-in icon? Well, if you've got an account with PlugShare, you can tap on that to say that you're currently at that charging station and you're using it. The benefit of this is that it allows other users to interact with each other. So for example, let's say I was at this charging station and I left my car there to charge and I was off shopping. Someone rocks up and they realize that, oh, the car is fully charged. They can actually message me through the app to say, hey, your car's fully charged. Can you please come move it so I can park my car? Below that, we've also got the details. So this is the actual address for the public charging station as well as a contact number so if something is wrong with the public charging station you can actually call them up and get that resolved now on the bottom right you can see that there's a get directions icon that's basically going to connect to whatever maps app you have on your phone in this case i've got apple maps and google maps so i can choose from one of the two and it'll give me directions directly from where I am to the charging station. And so below that, we've got information about the charging station itself. So if I tap onto that, you can see that there's a description for it. So information like that is really useful to know. Below that, we've got amenities. So what's available at the charging um, location. So in this case, it is a shopping center. So they would have retail stores as well as dining amenities, toilets, things like that. And then you can see the plug type. So if you're not familiar with the terminology of plug types, but you do recognize it visually, they've got that indicator on the screen as well to help you out. And then underneath that, we've got the check-in. So as I mentioned earlier, people who rock up to these charging stations, they basically leave a review on the charging station. And in this case, for the most part, they've got mostly green ticks. Um, there's one noted up here in red saying the hardware was broken when they arrived. Uh, there was no power to the Tesla charger and that was done on the 29th of April 
And then down below, we've got the photo gallery, which is connected to the photos that I showed you at the start. So you might be looking at the screen now and be thinking, there's a lot of charging stations here. How can I simplify this for myself? Well, you can actually set it up so it only shows you charging stations, which are suitable for your car. Now, the way you do that is you go into the filters section. And in this case, for the purpose of the demonstration, I have all of the charging stations ticked on. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select switch vehicle. And so what I can do here is I can go to manage vehicles and I can add in a vehicle. So in this case, let's do something like a Polestar 2 and add vehicle. So now what the app is doing is basically going through its database and saying, all right, most Polestar 2s have so-and-so connection and this is what we're gonna filter out for you instead. So when I tap done, it, the screen will refresh and now I'm just looking at charging stations applicable to my vehicle. Now, if I go back into the filter section, you can actually see that there's a bunch of incompatible plugs. So for example, if there's one that you might have an adapter for, you can actually turn that on as well. Below that, you can also see that there's public locations, home locations, and in-use locations, which are the ones showed in gray. And then you can also filter out even further for particular charging rates. So if you want a 50 kilowatt, a 70 kilowatt, 80 kilowatt, you only want those ones to pop up, you can also set it for that. Or you can even set up the minimum plug, plug score. So if you don't want to go to charging stations with a rating of five and below, you can set that up as well. It's completely up to you. So now let's move on to the trips tab. So what is the trips tab? Well, let's say you're going on a long journey from, let's say Sydney up to Brisbane and you don't know which charging stations you need to stop at or how far you can get on the charge that you have. Well, PlugShare actually does all those calculations for you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a trip as an example. I'm gonna use the Polestar 2 as my vehicle. I'm gonna say from my current location, let's go all the way up to Brisbane. Now, if you're not driving the car that's showing on the screen, you can just tap on change vehicle and select the one that you are. But for this case, I'm just gonna keep with the Polestar 2. And down below that, you can see your vehicle range. Now, this is basically part of PlugShare's database saying that, okay, the average Polestar will probably get 350 odd kilometers. Now, if you find that your car isn't getting that range, you can actually reduce the range of your vehicle. So in this case, to be on the safer side, I'm gonna go with 300 kilometers instead. And then below that, it's asking your starting charge. Now, that's basically saying, at the moment you're going to set off on this trip, what is the range left on your vehicle? So for me, I'm gonna just say that I've got 100 Ks left. And now once I hit find route, it's basically gonna do some calculations based off those inputs. And here you can see that I've got a couple options to get up to Brisbane from Sydney. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the first option using the Pacific Highway. And now it's showing me all the compatible charges. So before I said I've only got 100 kilometers worth of range right now and is basically saying, okay, these are the charging stations available and with 100 Ks of range, that's how far you can get. So let's say I charge up at the one in Gosford. I'm gonna tap on that and I'm gonna press add to trip. And now it's gonna assume that I'm gonna go there, get a full charge and I'm gonna set off again. So now it's recalculated to say, all right, now you've got about 300 Ks worth of charge. How far can I get? So let's say I go up to Port Macquarie, I tap on that charger, I wanna get a full charge there, I'm gonna hit add to trip, and then it's gonna recalculate again for the next set. So I'm gonna charge up at Coffs Harbor, add to trip, and so on and so forth. Now, as you can see, when you get up to the Gold Coast, there's actually a charger that's inactive. Now, again, really important information to know because let's say you did this on Google, it may not say that that charging station isn't working at the moment. So you might get up there, you might have only a, a couple Ks left of charge and realize like, shoot, I can't actually charge up here. I'm gonna have to find an alternative. So with this app, it actually really helps you plan out your trip in its entirety. So just to finish this off, I'm gonna add another trip. I'm gonna hit save. And now it's calculated my entire route and I can go to the view list at the bottom here. So it's saying a, a quick summary saying, you're gonna to go to these charging stations and that's the rough distance between each charging station. So bookmarks. Now bookmarks is basically 
listing all your favorite locations. So whichever charging station you prefer to go to, you can just save it in, uh, lock it into place. So if let's say you're not the one driving the car and one of your mates are or someone from your family is and you prefer them to use a particular charging station, you can just send them the location using your bookmarks. So now we'll have a look at the profile section. So this is basically my account for Juice Garage and it shows my email address, my name, and the car that I'm driving, again, the Polestar 2. Now, we've got a messages tab, so let's say someone was to reach out to you using the check-in function at one of the charging stations, you can find that information in this section. Then you've got the trip planner, any alerts or important alerts for maybe charging stations you've got bookmarked, you can find them there. You've got your charge history, so let's say you had to pay for a charging station, um, this will have your history of payments on there as well. And then your recent activity, if you want to add a home charger, things like that. So that was a quick once over of some of the key features you can find on the PlugShare app. Now, if you have any questions, just drop them down in the comment section below and we'll do our best to answer them. We are planning to make more videos like this about some of the other apps in the EV industry. So if you don't see one mentioned on the screen in front of you, go ahead and drop that in the comment section below. And if there's enough support, we'll make a video about it as well. Otherwise, hit that like button. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.